bastards. The amount of critters, squirrels in particular, uh, that I have in this yard is clearly at infestation levels. As you can see in these videos, uh, I do my best to keep their numbers reasonable. Uh, as when I don't, they literally eat my house. Like this moron right here, chewing on my couch. Get that little bastard. Come on down, you little couch chewer. Ah, this one looks gross. It's like mangy. Got you. Welcome back to the Leshy channel. Today's video, we're gonna pick up right where we left off in part one and part two of the best of 2022 kill shot series. If you're joining me for the first time, uh, I have a playlist set up where you can easily find the previous installments of this insane series. So I'll be dropping a new video every three to five days or so as we navigate from my backyard, the Pigeon Palace, and a few other farms that I was fortunate enough to visit over the last year. So without further ado, welcome to part three of the 2022 recap series. Buckle up, because this one, we got a ton of double tap dirt maps on the way. The crows killed one of the owls late kind of 2021, I think, uh, and the others just seemed to have moved on. Uh, the result of that was an uptick in the naughty garden eating rabbits, needing a little attention from old Mr. Leshy. So you can kill a rabbit with its own shadows, but 762 pellet out of the Leshy 2, that's way more fun. Looking back into some of this crazy footage from the last year, it's been a lot of fun. But apologies, by the way, for the gap in between parts two and three here. My family and I spent uh, some time at a cabin uh, out in the woods uh, where there was zero cell coverage and internet. Uh, we did a little bit of shooting, uh, but mostly uh, we were doing some hiking and riding because the weather was pretty nice. So uh, I was actually able to bring along this really amazing fat tire e-bike from Hemingway. This one's called the Cobra. And these guys are actually sponsoring today's video. They're going to be a big partner in 2023. So I'll tell you more about this bike and how I'll be using it in the upcoming year on some fun hunting trips a little bit later in this video. But first, let's get back to what you clicked on this video for. Late last year, I started experimenting again with different camera angles to give you guys a better look at the energy dumps these impressive modern day air guns produce. So I pulled this first shot a bit, but man, was I on the money with that heart punch on this double tap. Double taps don't seem very practical to some of you based on your comments, uh, but that one was a good example of where the first was kind of iffy on the humane side. Uh, but uh, any doubt was short lived as that second one sent it right to the dirt map below. Not everything was double taps, just like this shot right here. Shot was dead nuts and this guy was asleep before he even hit the tree behind it. This shot was with the incredible Steyr Pro X and 5.56. In 2022, I got to introduce some additional guns to the channel, Steyr being one of them. Uh, but in 2023, you're going to see a whole bunch more. As of today, I think there's about four, actually maybe five, uh, that are on their way, and you're going to see them here soon. So to make room, 
uh, I'll be giving some of these guns of mine away. Actually, uh, there's only a little time left before I'm giving away this one, the Steyr Pro X with the ATN Excite 4K Pro. That's day and night. It films. It's amazing. Uh, what else is on this thing? It's got the Eagle Vision suppressor, the bipod. I mean, this thing's fully set up for you right out of the box. Uh, it's about 3500 bucks or so all in. So on January 16th, I'll be giving away as part of the new Leshy merch drop. Um, so, uh, I'll drop a link in near the top of the description there. Just a little say giveaway or something like that. Uh, go check that out. If you're interested in get your name in the hat. This is one of my all time favorite shots that I have on film really for a few reasons. For one, the tracer effect is absolutely perfect. You can see it from the muzzle all the way to the dome. The second is is that you can really see the quick reflexes that these guys have. I mean, this is incredible. I'm not shooting that slow here. Yeah, I got it tuned down in my backyard to maybe 700, 750 or something like that feet per second. But, I mean, the reflexes are just incredible. And, of course, the last piece, the absolute insane quality of the glass on the March optic scopes that you're seeing here. So 2022 was my first year shooting March. And uh, I was fortunate enough to run almost every single scope that they have. And after a little tinkering uh, with the Eagle Vision GoPro scope cam mount, I was able to share with you as a viewer what it looks like to look down one of these tier one optics. I mean, these things are not cheap, but for good reason, as you're seeing here. And obviously they got a whole bunch of other features besides the glass. But for my purposes, <laughs> clarity is king. So uh, what I'm excited about uh, in 2023 is eagle vision will be releasing here at some point an updated mount that allows me to film with the gopro hero 10 versus the 7. so the difference for you guys is just a staggering increase in clarity while still filming at this 240 frames per second which is you know pretty slow right in the context of slow motion Thanks to Hemingway for sponsoring today's video. They sent me this amazing e-bike to check out. So give me just a couple minutes to break this thing down and how I'm gonna be using it in this year's adventures on the channel. So I'll keep a little picture in picture critter smashing for you uh, non-bike fans, but for everyone else, let's dive right in. So first the bike itself, uh, they have a bunch of different models, uh, but I chose the Cobra. So I plan on using this for off-road riding as well as hunting. Uh, so this was a good twofer. And by the way, I'll put links in the description and pinned comment for you to not only check out in more detail, but also make sure to take advantage of the promo codes provided to save you some cash. The frame is a 6061 aluminum frame with a carbon fiber wrap. Uh, and either in this kind of standard carbon fiber, I guess they would call this a naked, uh, carbon fiber or a cool uh, camo option as well. So the frame is super sturdy uh, and Hemingway puts their money where their mouth is by offering an incredible 10 year frame damage replacement service. The bike is powered by a 750 watt geared hub motor and there's two basic ways of powering the bike. The first is the standard pedal assist. So once you start pedaling, it just adds to that effort based upon the choice of zero to nine on the levels or uh, there's a super convenient button that engages the motor regardless if you're pedaling or not. So basically just think of this as a gas pedal. It's over here on the left hand side you're seeing with my left thumb. One thing that really stands out when you look at this bike for the first time is its tires. They're absolutely giant. It's a 26 inch by 4.8 inch CST fat tire, uh, which to my knowledge are the largest fat tires in the e-bike industry. This is actually super important for obstacles you're gonna come across while navigating a hunt or if you're just on a rip through the woods. With potential heavy loads like my fat butt or you know, you're carrying a pack and you got everything that you might take into the woods or some gnarly terrain that you might find back there too, the dual suspension adds even more cushion to the ride. So if you've never ridden one, it's like a cheat code too for helping more of a novice rider get up and over some things that uh, might take a little bit more confidence on a mountain bike than with this thing you just bounce right over them the battery is integrated directly into the frame which not only looks super clean but it keeps the wires all tucked away so that you don't catch them on anything it's got a 60 mile range with pure electric riding meaning i'm just pressing that button with my thumb and then up to 80 miles if you're using the pedal assist mode 
One additional thing I recommend is taking advantage of their affordable racks. So I got the double bike one and e-bikes are pretty heavy. And so this hitch mount made it super easy to drop the bike on it and hit the road. So all in all, I absolutely love this bike. Uh, I need to get some bags and some other storage on it. So if you got any ideas, drop a comment and oh yeah, all my bikes have a name and this one don't quite have one yet for her. So let me know some ideas down in the comments as well. So big thanks to Hemingway for sponsoring today's video and sending this amazing e-bike. Uh, if you're interested, make sure to check the links in the promo codes in the description and in the pin post. Now back to some pest control. Oof, now that's a lights out snipe. Uh, you can just see the energy dump just roll down his body. Jeez. So I've been yapping a lot in this video. So let's throw on some tunes and watch some epic slow-mo as some protein pills dish out some good old fashioned dirt naps. What's really wild about this year is I kind of look back at some of these videos. I think the population has actually increased. Uh, reviewing this footage just reminds me just how crazy my art is. Uh, you know, I live in it every day, so I don't really get an often chance to kind of look at things in retrospect like this. So I get this question all the time. Uh, and my honest answer is I have no clue why I have so many tree rats. I hope you guys are enjoying the recap series so far. Initially, it's been all daytime stuff, but don't worry. If you're a fan of the backyard bullies and rats, you'll get your fill here soon enough. But until then, let's coast through the rest of part three with a little Justin Johnson on slide guitar, along with his buddy, Ed Gun Leshy 2 on drums.
Thanks for joining me on this 2022 recap series. It was a great year, the old Pew Pew, and I appreciate all of you coming along for the ride. So I've got some big plans for 2023, but as always, there will be tons of backyard bullies, table for ones, tracers, and showcasing of some incredible tools I'm fortunate enough to use in these videos. So onward we go. As you ride shotgun in this unique, all-you-can-eat backyard war with your old buddy, Edgun Leshy.